Hello everyone. Welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Muhammad Zubair and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro really fast. So the topic of today's video is top 5 best Linux distros for gaming. So without any further ado, let's get started. Well, there are a lot of operating system choices available for PC users, but if you are a gamer, the choice is clear in most of the cases and that is Microsoft Windows. Because Microsoft Windows is the most popular operating system by far and it makes sense that game developers focus their time and energy on creating and developing different softwares for that particular platform. and because of that we have most of the games available that are compatible with microsoft operating system and that is why we only see limited number of games that are supported for linux distributions now the question comes into mind that what for those people who want to use open source operating system for gaming purpose well yes there are some linux distribution that are good for gaming purpose but one thing is to be clear here and that is yes we do have some linux distributions available but they are no match to windows operating system because only 14% of total games on steam are compatible with linux distribution so let's see what are those linux distributions that are good for gaming and let's see what do they have to offer number 1 ubuntu well there are a lot of reasons it can be legal or technical reason to choose this linux distribution over any other linux distribution because a lot of games run well on this particular linux distribution and as we know that games run well on the windows operating system because almost every hardware manufacturer puts their majority of efforts into writing the optimized and stable drivers applications games and environments for the windows operating system and same is the case over the apis but when it comes to linux or you can say the ubuntu for support for the drivers and apis there is not as much support available for this particular operating system but now we have nvidia amd available in linux distributions and so in ubuntu and intel seem to be doing a really good job by ensuring that linux users continue to get features and the stability in their respective linux distribution and same goes for ubuntu and with the time being we are seeing more and more support coming for the gaming in the linux distribution well the question comes into mind that why to go with ubuntu well first of all it is the most stable linux distribution and secondly it is really easy to use and really light on your hardware components that is why ubuntu stands out than the rest of linux distribution well this is the software repository from the ubuntu and if you can see here we have different softwares available to download and install if you see down here we have different categories that are available in particular softwares here we have a category that says games well This is the category for pre-edited games into this Linux distribution. So what you can do, you can just go to that particular directory and you can start downloading and playing different games. In case if you want to download or play some games that are only available in Windows, we have a solution for that as well. For that, we just have to download Wine and we are good to go because with the help of Wine, we can run and we can use some of the windows application in the linux distribution so go with wine and you are good to go other than that on the official website of ubuntu there is a lot of information available with respect to gaming in ubuntu as you can see we have tons of blogs available in here so go through that and you will have answer to almost everything ubuntu also have the support of steam available you can download it from the official website from the software repository or you can do that from the terminal as well and with the help of this gaming engine or you can say gaming environment you can have a lot of games available into your ubuntu and with that we are done with the ubuntu and let's move on to the next linux distribution for gaming number 2 manjaro 
Well, this Linux distribution is another very stable Linux distribution. And not only for developers, gamers also enjoy to use this particular Linux distribution. Well, obviously, there are some reasons to support this claim. If you go into the official website of Manjaro, here we have a whole section for gamers. As you can see, it says Manjaro Gamers. So here, you will have a lot of information about gaming on this particular Linux distribution. And not only that, the community and the forums on Manjaro also supports a lot of information with respect to gaming. And the most obvious thing and the most important thing that Manjaro has is the pre-installed Steam. As you can see here, we have Steam available. And if I go into my applications and here we have a section that called games. If you just click on it and here you can see we have Steam available. And at the moment it is also up and running. So from here, you can download different games that are available and are supported for Linux distribution on this particular platform and you can enjoy playing those games. In case, if you want to play some games that are not available and are not supported for some Linux distribution, you can download Wine and you can start playing different games. So in Manjaro, you can also download that particular software and you can play some Windows game. Apart from this wonderful feature of Steam, if you go into the software repository of Manjaro, here you have whole section of games. If you just go into that one, you will also have a lot of games that are available by default into this particular Linux distribution. Number 3. Pop OS Well, this particular Linux distribution is one of the most used Linux distribution just for the gaming purpose. There are some reasons behind it. First of all, as you can see, as we are on the official website of System76, because Pop OS is from the System76, and here we have two versions of Pop OS. First one is a simpler one, and the second one says NVIDIA. In this particular Linux distribution, we have NVIDIA support by default. If you are planning to go with gaming, just download this particular one and you are good to go. And not only that, the interface and the libraries and the packages that are available in this particular Linux distributions are enough for you to have a gaming experience in Linux distribution. And the most important thing is, if you go into your pop shop, here we have different things that are supported for games. Here if you just search for games, here you can see we have an application that says games. Basically, it is a launcher for Genome desktop environment. So just install it and with the help of this one, you can play different games. And as we know that Pop OS is based on Ubuntu. So obviously it will support the Genome desktop environment as well. So just download it. And here we have two options. Either you can go with Flatpak or you can go with Deb. So install any one of these as per the requirements or as per your need and you are good to go. And if I come out of this, here is a really good thing that I want to show you. Here we have Steam available. It means we have the official support of Steam available in this Linux distribution. So now what you can do, you can just download it and you can install it into your Linux distribution and you can start playing a lot of games that are compatible and available for Linux distribution in Steam. So that's a really good one. And I would like you to give it a go if you are planning to move on to the Linux distribution just for the gaming purpose. And along with that, we also have Proton that is supported for Pop OS. If you go to the official website of System76, here you will have all the information about this particular tool. Well, I'll give you a brief overview that what is Proton and what does it perform. Well, Proton is developed by Evolve Software as it is mentioned in here. Basically, it works through the Steam and it takes the games that are developed for Windows operating system and it takes their code and converts them into some commands that are compatible with Linux distribution. So it means now we have more games to play in Pop OS. And along with that, Wine is also there. You can download it and you can play different games that are only compatible with Windows operating system into your Linux distribution. So till now we have seen that there are a lot of ways in which we can play different games onto the Pop OS operating system. And obviously Pop OS is known for this only purpose. And as I have shown you that we have also 
a version of pop os available that has the official support of nvidia so consider this one and start playing different games number four fedora just like the other three linux distribution that i have discussed till now fedora is also very good linux distribution that you can consider for gaming one of the reason is it is a very customized and a very stable linux distribution and along with that it also supports a lot of hardware systems it means if you have a slightly older system or older laptop still you will be able to download and install this particular linux distribution so as we are talking about the gaming as you can see we are on the official website from the fedora magazine and here you will have all the information that is available related to gamings on fedora so go through this document and you will have all the information that you need in terms of gaming on this particular linux distribution i will get out of this and i'll show you some of other things that are available in this linux distribution this is the software repository from the fedora and if you see we have a separate section or you can say the category for just games so you go to that particular category and download the available games and you are good to go and in fedora we have the rpm fusion repository so what you can do with that you can go to that software repository and from there you can enable steam and you can also enable nvidia drivers and after that you will be able to download steam or you will be able to install steam into your fedora linux distribution and as we all know that with the help of steam you will be able to play a lot of games that are available and compatible for linux distributions on steam and as we know that nvidia drivers are really important and essential in order for nvidia to perform on to optimal level so fedora also supports that and we also have proton available for fedora so it means now you have more options and more games to play on this particular linux distribution and last but not the least now we can also download wine into fedora and with the help of wine you can play different games that are only available and are compatible with windows operating system and after that you will be able to enjoy those game onto this linux distribution so that was all about the fedora and now let's move on to the last linux distribution for today's video number five garuda linux well the last linux distribution in my opinion is the best among the all that i have discussed till now in today's video i mean just look at the interface it gives an impression of some gaming environment and some particular game this linux distribution has a lot to offer and if i say that what you can have in almost every linux distribution this particular linux distribution has something more to offer than other linux distribution whenever you install garuda linux you will have a welcome screen just like this in case if you do not see this one just go to your application menu and just search for welcome and after that you will have an option that says garuda welcome if you just click on it here you will see a welcome screen and in that you will have a lot of assistance like garuda assistance garuda setting manager and then here we have garuda gamer this category possess everything related to gaming if you just click on it and here you can see we have garuda gamer windows in here you will see everything related to just gaming if you see here in terms of launcher we have steam runtime we also have steam native and in terms of wine we have wine available and different other tools that you can use to download and install those games which are only compatible with windows operating system and after that you will be able to use and play those games on to your garuda linux distribution and down here we have some tools and we have many other things like here we also have some controllers based tools so what you need to do here you just need to select those things that you want to have in your garuda linux and after that just click on this apply button and what it will do it will include all these things into your linux distribution and after that you are good to go again if you go to your application launcher and in here you have an option that says games if you go into that category here you can see we have a lot of games and a lot of things that are related to games as pre-installed and pre-added into this linux distribution so we can start playing straight away after we are done installing this linux distribution so we can say that garuda linux offer more than any other linux distribution 
when it comes to gaming because everything is available just a few clicks away. We do not need to search for Steam or Wine or Nvidia drivers because we can always come to Garuda Gamer and from here we can download and install almost everything which we might need for gaming. And with that we are done with all our 5 Linux distribution for today's video. And I hope now you might have a better idea that which Linux distribution you are planning to go for your gaming. And if that is the case, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon along with it. And if you have anything to ask, please leave a comment below. We will get back to you as soon as possible. Till the next video, take care.